Hey guys, it's Golden Badger here. Today we are back with another episode of State of the K2 Home Base Showcase. In today's episode, we are going to be taking a look at the corner office in the Cascade Hills, okay? Um, this is a pretty nice base, but before we hop into that, I want to ask you guys to leave a like on the video if you liked it. Uh, comment down below to tell me what videos you want to see next, what bases you want me to cover next. And uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new. I post videos like this daily or at least multiple times a week. And without any further ado, I know everybody says that a lot, but let's just jump right in. Let's get to a safe place and then we'll cover the specs immediately. As you can, yeah, it, it's a nice base, okay? I, li I actually really, really like this base and I'll tell you why in just a sec, okay? So this is the corner office located in the Cascade Hills. Um, the corner office has a chic eatery kitchen, so it's a nice, you know, a kitchen. Uh, one overlook, which will act as a watch watchtower or an out or a watch post. Um, one sheltered beds and two parking spots, but that doesn't really matter because, as you know, um, parking spots you can just park different vehicles. You can just position them just right that they all sign a, I mean, register as parked. Okay. Um, you have one large slot outside, you have uh, one small indoor slot and two small outdoor slots. And I'll show you guys each and every slot, okay? You, uh, this base requires 1,000 influence and five people. Um, uh, right, right outside, right here, you can see the big slot already. I think I have my flashlight on. I'm not sure. Yeah, no, I don't. Okay. So this is the large slot outside. Uh, which is pretty cool. You can uh, build a watch watchtower here, which I don't think at all is necessary, even because there is a big building here, so you won't cover that side of the um, you know world. Um, so I think you can best utilize it for a farm. Um, these are two uh, outdoor slots, but as I said before, this base has three small outdoor slots, and the third one is kind of uh, upstairs. So I'll, I'll show you. Okay, um, this is your nice. Um, downstairs area with a bedroom already like built in this is your storage facility I'm gonna close this door right here just because um, this is your kitchen right here so that's uh, a nice addition to it as well and yeah that's about it for the kitchen part I'm working with flashlight because it's pretty dark you want to have electricity before you move into this base um, right here this is pretty unique about this base you have a uh, you have a second a second story in the building which has an extra indoor slot which is pretty nice um, in my opinion you have the radio right here so when you want to call in whatever you want to call in you can do that and yes sir there is another upstairs so this will lead you to the roof don't mind the blood here please it's pretty disgusting I know but there's a little glitch in this base as well, which I will tell you about in a sec. But here, here you can see is the extra outdoor slot. Okay, um, this is a pretty, pretty, pretty cool base in my opinion. You can climb up here. You can check it out. There's a vehicle that I might just take with me when I return home. There's a police station right there, which has, I mean, police stations and military outposts always have great loot. Uh, gas station right there. This is pretty centrally located in the Cascade Hills map or the Foothills map if, if you're at the beginning of the game. Uh, as you can see it's located right here. Don't mind the play guard. I yet have to clear it out. But uh, it's it's fairly close to the church on the hill base which I covered two days ago. It's, I mean, in my opinion it's a very very nice base. If I mean looking from a apocalypse standpoint it's awesome dude. I mean you hole up in an abandoned building it's pretty cool you have these two stories and you have a roof where you can watch or, uh, look around the place you can just see if everything's clear if they're hordes you can pick them off from a distance um, here you can take the ladder down which is pretty cool as well and um, yeah like I said before there is there might be a glitch for you if you want to clear the base of zombies um, I had I encountered this with a friend of mine two days ago can I please close the gate no okay so there is this door right and there's the stairs but with the stairs there is a, often a, a problem or a glitch that a couple people a couple people have encountered already is that there is a zombie stuck in this wall right here because he glitched through the stairs okay and I don't know how I don't know why but it, it just makes it unable for you to kill him because he's protected by the wall and you cannot claim this base it's pretty annoying when that happens but just 
move to a different base, try whatever, try some Molotovs, I'm not sure how to, but yeah, that's a little heads up there. Um, if anything, this is a very, very cool base. I really like this base because it's pretty realistic. You find an abandoned building, you block it off with some gates, or if there's a wall behind it, around it, that's pretty useful as well. Um, I think it's very, very realistic. It's very nice. It has that apocalyptic feel because you have the possibility of look t looking around 360 degrees and covering your base from all angles, which is pretty awesome. And yeah, you can. There's a decent amount of places to make stuff, so and build stuff, and that b really makes me want to move in here. And actually, I might just do that after I make this video. Okay, so guys, I'm gonna kill this zombie okay goodbye uh, I'm gonna have to end it here we have been going on for about six minutes now and that is plenty for a base video um, you may or may not know I want to keep these videos short ju just so you have a nice compact video for you guys um, you can have all the information on the base and have everything you want to know and that's what I'm gonna leave you with uh, do with it as you please uh, I enjoy the video I give you guys my opinion this is it and um, yeah, before I, before I leave you guys though, I want to ask you guys to me make sure to leave a like on the video, comment down below what, what, what base you want to see next. I am planning on doing a um, guide video on the combat skills in the game. So this video, uh, this character has the close quarters skill. Um, other uh, characters in my playthrough have the sword play skill, which I think, in my opinion, is the best the best skill fighting skill in the game. So if you want to see me do a um, fighting skill or a just a skill guide on this game uh, let me know down in the comments as well and with that guys thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're new to the channel I will be posting videos like this daily talk to me in Twitter uh, talk to me in discord there's a discord channel I, I'm trying to build up this community around the channel so if you want to talk to me if you want to hang out with me if you want to I mean play the game with me hell if you want to play online with me talk to me in discord I'll, I'll play with you I don't mind yeah guys thank you so much for watching I really hope to see you in the next one and uh, goodbye okay love you all <laughs>